again. You know, up in Bengal and he's going to find his seat right about now. We're going to get the show started. All right, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it's about to be every time you see it, I'll be like, I have it. Monica? Monica? TV personality, actor, author, and philanthropist, Terrence J. Generations. By the way, we also have a great reception in store for you following this evening's panel discussion. Does anybody like great food? Uh, live music? How about Sharon? And all that coming? Uh, thanks, to, thanks to our sponsor, Sean Jonah. So give it to Sean Jonah. So, before I introduce the host for this evening, Joy Thorpe, our Destiny's Fashion Editor. We're going to give you some more detailed introduction to our panelists. Uh, we're, we, here at Macy's, uh, we take a lot of pride in celebrating Black History Month. We really do a great job of selling version of this. So, in order to stimulate selling today, we're going to give away a couple of gift cards. Anybody interested in that? Yes. But you have to answer a couple of questions related to Black History. Yeah. Um, a couple of little known Black History. Oh, damn. You go ahead and make a bit of cancer. Okay, they're not that difficult, though. That's the good news. Okay, first. When I was a boy, I always wondered why Black History Month occurred in the month of February. Because the weather's always wrong, right? Are you guys ready for Black History Month? I mean, you can do better than that. Are you ready for Black History Month? Yeah! I'm Joy Thorpe from Essence Magazine. I'm your host tonight, and we're paying tribute to the rising stars in entertainment. Thank you for being here and a part of our conversation. Black culture electrifies the pulse of American culture, from music to fashion to everything in between. Young artists are the heart of this revolution, and today we're going to talk to them, get down to the nitty gritty, and hear what they have coming up. I am going to introduce to you our first guest, best known for her role on award-winning series Friday Night Lights, Planned Parenthood, sorry, Parenthood, <laughs> True Blood, <laughs> okay, Blue that's me. Journey has appeared in numerous films and television shows. Her newest project, Underground, debuts on WGN March 9th. It's my pleasure to introduce Journey Smollett-Bell. most recognizable faces in Hollywood. Most recently, a former co-anchor on the international news program, E! News, and three-time Emmy nominee, also spent seven years hosting BET's 106 in Park. Up next, Jenkins can be seen starring and producing the film The Perfect Match, opposite Paula Patton. Ladies and gentlemen, Terrence J. the strongest black women you will ever meet. You know, she's from New Orleans, 
and mm-hmm. we were just talking. Food. We were just talking about how my mom gave birth to six kids, natural. She set the bar real high. Wow. But um, yeah, she inspires me every day to be a strong woman. That's great. Taryn? All right, top inspirations, future, uh, on the music side. Let's see, um, uh, who else, who else, Monica? Yes, Monica. Uh, President Barack Obama. Uh, Will Smith, Jamie Foxx, Denzel Washington, right. um, the dude that invented chocolate chip cookies. The first, the first black astronaut is the first, like that's really cool. Oh, Drake, uh, Jay-Z, um, I just said, I said right now. You have a lot, huh? I, don't know, I get inspired all the time. The weekend, like when I'm thinking of, I'm, I'm sexy and I can sing, the weekend inspires me when I'm in the shower. All right, okay. <laughs> Monica, are you ready? I am. Okay. Uh, it's easy for me. I have three children and two that I call my bonus favorite. I always say walk by faith. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's in the greatest book ever. And um, quite often we don't always follow it anyway. Thank you, big dog. Uh, but if you walk by faith and not by sight, there's so much that's possible in there. And if you really, really understand what that means. And my mother used to tell me that when I was young, and I didn't understand it until I was 18 years old, standing in the midst and experiencing loss over and over from my grandmother to my cousin. And then I witnessed the suicide. And that, in that moment, I realized what walk by faith and not by sight meant. Because I needed something greater than I carried me through what I was in the midst of. So that's the one thing that even my two-year-old, she could say, you walk by faith, not by sight. Because it is something that once you grow and life starts uh, testing you, you will understand. Wow. All right, I'm not going to answer the questions after my video. Because <laughs> what, I, what I just realized is that Monica's answers are always going to be better than mine. Okay, so I'm going to start answering answer first. No, tell them about how your dark skin is. He just told me he was a chocolate I don't like people like Does anybody else here see chocolate next to me? I'm a chocolate I'm a chocolate Y'all are ruining my answer. Y'all are ruining my answer. Vanilla chocolate? Vanilla chocolate. You want like white chocolate. So, so, my mantra uh, you know, is, is on my back I got a tattoo that says go hard, go home. I really don't have a tattoo, but it is my <laughs> go hard or go home. My mom would tell me at a young age, when, when you leave the house, you got to give it your all. You know, giving 99% is the same as giving zero. You got to give it 110% or you might as well not give it anything at all. You know, in my, my entire career, I, I haven't been able to progress because... Um, I'm talented. It's not because obviously I'm, I'm not that tall. Um, I'm skinny. I, I'm not any better looking than anyone. Not smarter. Not more charismatic. I'm not that funny. Uh, it's not because I'm, I'm the best at anything. It's just because I work harder than than anyone else. And so, if you want to be successful, you, you just gotta go hard or go home. That's it. That you're passionate in. Just go after it and, and don't take no for an answer. Yeah, they don't really care. And it's so important to realize, wow, this is all so beautiful and the love we feel from you all is amazing. We have to know who we are in, by God's standards. You know, because when we go home, when we look in that mirror, we have to know who we are. And we have to know that, wow, this is all beautiful. This can come and go. You know, this is not permanent. There's no eternal value in in being famous or being recognizable. And so when he said that to me, it's, it struck true because it's so important to be confident. It's so important to believe in yourself when nobody else believes in you. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, everybody, know who you are. All you young people out there, start now. Um, so, what was the defining moment in your life, like when you knew you wanted to be an actor, a performer, and you knew you wanted to take this path? I was telling my soul, seriously. What? No, I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I, I don't really have that moment because I've literally been doing it since I was a baby. So, I can't really, y'all don't have to answer this question because I passed this to y'all. 
But you know, at a young age, I sat down with Michael Jackson, and what well, I didn't sit down. I just, <laughs> I was like, Michael Jackson. She said Quincy Jones, and I was trying to think like, she got, she got a better, she got a better story than me. Quincy Jones is, is awesome. Um, so, so in 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 in, in, in middle school, it was actually in middle school, it was in the eighth grade. I was I was kind of like a like a class clown. Like I was always, you know, I, I wasn't good at playing any sports, and I really didn't know where I fit in. So I was kind of like a class clown, and and I had a teacher that pulled me aside and said, "Listen, you know, you you making jokes in class is is energy, right? And and life is all about energy. You know, Jay Z says everyone has genius in them. It's just all upon you to own into it. So my teacher was like, instead of using that energy to just make people laugh in, in class, you need to to find out how you can." You know how you can be great using that energy in the right way, and so since then I, it always stuck with me, and that's pretty much what I base my career about uh, around. It's like you know being a host, or even when I, I do films, I, I find a way to use my energy to, to make myself great. And, and all of us, no matter no matter what it is that you're trying to do, God bless all of us with something in us that's great. It's just it's up to us to tap into what it is. Find out what we're passionate about, and, and use your passion in order to become, you know, the success that you want to be. I was signed at twelve. <laughs> Thank you. What I, my, my question to you is this. 